Welcome to Mr. Fisher Flip's third grade math. Today's lesson is from Math Expressions, lesson 5-7, writing first step questions for two step problems. We're going to be using addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division to solve two step problems. So be aware of the order of operations and be able to uh, do them in a two step problem. The thing I've noticed with uh, two step problems is you really need to concentrate and focus, and so I've got a new acronym for us. It's called STOP. STOP means Stop, think, observe, and proceed. When you look at a two-step problem, usually you look at the first sentence. It gives us hints on what we're going to be looking at. Then you look at the first two sentences to pick out the numbers that will help us either to multiply, divide, subtract, or add. Then we look at the last sentence to see what it is actually asking us to do. It's the follow-up question. And it's good that we have our anytime problem to kind of get part of this out. Let's go through and see if we can find the information we need. First of all, Mr. Kipper has a CD storage that holds 63 CDs. Each shelf of his CD storage unit holds 9 CDs. So if we took 63 divided by 9, we would get 7, right? But all but 3 of the shelves are full. Take this 7 and we take 7 minus 3 equals how many shelves are full? 4 shelves. 4 shelves are full. Let's see if we can use this STOP acronym with all of our problems today. In our lesson today, we are going to look at a couple of problems that will help us understand how to do these procedures. The orchard has eight rows of apple trees. There are seven rows with six apple trees and one row with four apple trees. How many apple trees are in the orchard? If we look at the first sentence, we see that there's eight rows of apple trees. But we're not going to use that eight yet. We're going to look at the second sentence. There are seven rows with six apple trees. Let's take seven times six. And what's seven times six? Forty-two. And then there's one extra row with four apple apple trees. So we take 42 plus one row of four. And what we're actually doing is 42 plus four equals 46. So our answer is there are 46 apple trees. Our next question deals with pencils. Miss Hayes bought four packs of pencils with 10 pencils in each pack. She divided the pencils evenly among her five children. How many pencils did each child get? Let's look at that first sentence. She bought four packs of pencils with 10 pencils in each pack. Which procedure am I going to use? Am I going to use adding? I guess I could add 10 plus 10 plus 10. What's a faster way? Let's use multiplication. 4 times 10 is 40. Now she divided. Hey, it even gives us what we're supposed to do next. We're supposed to divide. We put 40 down here and 40 divided by 5 equals 9. Each child got 9 pencils. Now we're at the apply section, so I really think you should stop, see if you can do this one on your own, and then we'll see if you have the answer correct. Doing it together, Mr. Cedra bought nine boxes of tiles. So here's my box of tiles. Each box had eight tiles. He used all but five of the tiles. How many tiles did Mr. Cedra use? First of all, I see that nine and that eight. I think we're going to be using those together. Am I going to use add? There are nine boxes with eight tiles or multiply. Let's try multiply. Nine times eight is 72. Now that we've done that first step, how does the answer help us to solve the second part of the question? In the second part of the question, we need to take all but five away. 72 minus five equals, let's check our answer. Did you get 72 tiles and 67 tiles? You are correct. Now let's try to see if you can problem solve. Go ahead and stop the video so you can check to see if you get this one correct. We see that Lindsay made six bracelets. She used a total of 60 beads. So total, she used 60 beads. And she made how many bracelets? Six. 60 minus six, right? No. Let's try 60 divided by six. 60 divided by six equals 10. Now we can take that 10 and we see that each bracelet had six beads that are silver and the rest are blue. How are we going to find out how many are blue. Do we use plus or subtract? Subtract. To check your answer, what was your first step? 60 divided by 6. You use that answer to equal 10. Check your answer. Did you get it correct? 10 beads and 4 beads were blue. So they really should say 4 blue beads. When we walk, we take a step. To solve problems, we use a different kind of step. When we step up the stairs, we always start at the beginning and work our way to the top. Same with a ladder. We can't fix a light bulb that's up above our head unless we take the first step up, the second step up, until we can reach it. Each part of the steps in a number sentence help us to understand the whole process. If you get stuck with the problem, start back at the very beginning and see if you can get it correct. 
Tomorrow, on Tuesday, you will be having a quiz. And there's the first two questions that you can look at. We will also do a fluency check. And there's the first six questions on that. Notice we'll be doing some divide and some multiplication. Now to our homework, there will be 15 problems, pages 225 and 226. Before we get to that, I wanted to share with you a real world connection. Something you can do for fun is write two step word problems and see if you can give them to your parents to see if they can solve them. And what you can do is you can get some information from a newspaper or magazine and try to write those two step word problems. Here's our homework tonight, and let's look at the first page. I wanted to do one today. I was going to do this one right down here. Maria bought seven packages of balloons. Each package has eight balloons. She used 49 balloons in bou bouquets. How many balloons does Maria have left? Now, when I first read that, I wanted to instinctively go 49 divided by 7. Would that give me the correct answer? Nope. What I needed to do was look at the first sentence and the second sentence before I go on to the last Last sentence. I see that there's seven and eight. Well, each package has how many balloons? Eight. So if I take seven times eight, I get 56. 56 balloons. Is that 56 going to help us find out how many Maria has left? Yeah, because that's the total that was already there. But she used how many? She used 49. So if we take 56 minus 49, we can get the answer of how many she has left. Hopefully that helps you understand one more look at how to do that. Here's the remembering part. I wanted to do this proof drawing with you just so we can practice. Chloe's class has 293 raffle tickets to sell. By the end of the first week, they sold 88 tickets. How many tickets does the class have left to sell? Got this proof drawing already set up. I've got 200. 5 plus 4 is 9. 90 and 3. To take and show that we, how many are left, I'm going to have to use subtraction. I'm going to take one of the these tens and I'm going to turn it into a 10 right here. I took that 10 away and now I have 10 once. I'm going to take 8 away. Cross out 8 of these. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So we have three up here and two down here. So we have a total of five left over. And then we take from what we have left, we need to take eight tens away. So let's take eight tens away. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight. How many do I have left? How many tens? Zero. And how many hundreds? 200. So our answer is 205. How many tickets do they have left to sell? 205 tickets. When and where did you watch the video? Summarize. Remember, we learned something new. Stop, think, observe, proceed. And if there's any questions you might have, especially on the homework, make sure you write those down. Also, try to think of some questions that are out of this world. That takes us to the end of our lesson. Thank you and good night.